just thought, why not? Let me just take the chance and learn. Learn something new, something different. And plus, we don't have this in our country. She trains seven to eight hours a day, juggling, twirling, spinning. Temi Aya is 16. Back home, she's a former Miss Teen Nigeria, but here she's a student learning a foreign and ancient art. It's difficult. It is stressful. It's fun. Can be fun. Uh, when you like know how to do some certain things, it becomes really, really fun to do. Um, it takes a lot of practice, uh, concentration, focus, and like I would say, hard work. You need to work really hard. <laughs> Temi had been doing well in Nigeria. She was a top student at school with ambitions of going to university. I want to model. Mm -hmm. then obviously, go to school, study, mass communication. Um, when I get married, I want to have my children. But then she made an unusual choice. She decided to go to acrobat school. Tucked in the southeast corner of Hebei province, Huchao has put itself on the international map as the hometown of Chinese acrobatics. Its roots can be traced back to the Eastern Wei dynasty, where wall paintings depicted performers standing on their hands, spinning plates and doing tricks on horses. The Wu Chao International School of Acrobatics has been training African students for 12 years as part of cultural exchanges. The 2014 intake included a group of young Sudanese boys, two Egyptian circus performers and eight Nigerians, none of whom had any experience in acrobatics. Temi is one of them. Okay, when the Olympics was held in Beijing, uh, I saw a bit of acrobatics, I think, in it, like during the opening ceremony. A bit of acrobatics and bending and the whole throwing thing. Yeah, so I've seen that once and probably on the internet too. Temi had not seen acrobatics live until she arrived in Wu Chao, a five hour bus ride from Beijing. And her first impression? Whoa, is this what acrobatics is all about? I can't wait to start. Have you seen the Chinese children um, train before? How, how the Chinese kids train? I have. Do you want to be trained like that? <gasps> no. Professional. Yeah. Why? I okay. I'm starting to like acrobatics a lot, especially the straps things. When I just see them performing, it's the performance, what they bring out, what they show. It's really beautiful, and like wow, the way they bend their bodies. And, uh, it's really, really nice. I just like it. It tells a lot. It tells a story. But, uh, uh, it's just really nice. I like it. International Administrator Ni Guanhua was tasked with seeing the students through their year in China. And the hardest challenge they all had to deal with? Uh, I'll say the language. That's the language. Mm. We don't really understand what they say, but we, we try, we try. 
，我说不动，但我可以伸手去拉他。当他们过了一段时间，这个呃自己的技巧有一定进步的时候，哎，他们感觉很有成就感，就非常高兴。慢慢的，这个这个对这个兴趣越来越浓厚。呃，现在他们都能够做到主动的去呃，这个进行这个训练。哎，这是一个非常非常大的一个进步。而且呢，就是说。他们这个小呃这个团队啊，这个小团队，因为他这一个国家算一个小团队嘛，他内部也是比较团结。So what happens when you put eight strangers together in a strict school where they don't speak the language of the adults around them, and they're not allowed out the gates? Like family, like family, six boys and two girls. Oh, we have fun. It's really nice to. Just be with another girl, cause she's like a sister to me. I see her like my mom, my sister, my friend, because she's the only girl, and there's six boys. And I see the boys like my big brother or something, and then the little one, he's like my baby brother. And so we take care of him. We're like a family, a small family. Definitely, we argue, we quarrel, exchange words, but at the end of the day, that's part of everything. That's what makes a family. So we love each other. <laughs> The students train six days a week, morning and afternoon, and take Chinese lessons in between practice. It's a grueling routine made worse by their dislike for the food. Food is really not nice. I don't like the food at all. But it's not all work. Ma Shu Ming, their lead teacher, sees herself too as part of that family. Uh, I just feel like they come from our country, like they leave their family, they leave their family, they leave their family, they leave their family. 我感觉这这孩子怪怪怪怪怪怪不容易嘛，在在在这儿，所以说有的时候我说我上课的时候，你们把我就当成老师。课下了课以后，我就是你们的妈妈。有什么困难啊？哎，对，有身体有哪儿不舒服，你可以就给我说，我呢尽量给你解决。我能解决，我就给你解决。哎，我是这样。所以说每次他们嘛，呃，就是练功，我一惹我生气，我一瞪眼，一我一不高兴了。In a surprise move, academic director Wang Yang arranged an exam to test their first two months of training. Four examiners sit upright, silently marking exam sheets as students go through each routine. The students are visibly nervous, and the acrobatics they were beginning to perfect all go wildly wrong. Oh yeah, and do three. Don't like this. What kind of kind of person? You want to be smart? Practice hard. Work hard. You need to 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 work hard. Once the examiners left the room, Temi brought the Nigerian students together. I don't like the comments that my mother. I don't feel bad. I don't like comments. Like, like we did rubbish. That's what we just looks like. We just did rubbish. Temi is clearly upset at the performance, but fellow student Anna D, who was asked to be class monitor, takes over the meeting. Because this is the first time we are doing anything acrobatics, and this is the first time we are being tested. So let's. Let's look at it. That yes, sir. we did well based on we have no experience. I won't say doing well. I'll put it like this is the reason why you should consider these people. They've not done this before. They've not been to any place before. We are very far away from. Them. Forget these boys. They are just to we. We are it. The youngest of three children back in Nigeria, Anadi is fulfilling the role of leader for fellow students in the acrobatic school. Well, 呃，有时候老师看不到，没说嘛，他们睡一醒觉嘛，有时候睡一两就找不着人了嘛，我就可以给他说，说完了以后，他们再他再给他们交代，哎，对。
Later that night, sitting round one of the computers supplied by the school, Anadi explains his role. The thing is, if nobody is training, the first person the teachers will call is Anidi, Anidi, Koela, Koela. Okay. Andy. They have a funny way of pronouncing our names. My name is Anidi, but they are like Andy, Andy, Koela. The teachers tell us as teenagers the Nigerians were too old to begin training as acrobats. But why are they here on another side of the world learning a skill they would never be able to perfect? A Nigerian student in the past had returned and set up a small acrobatic school in Abuja and another group had managed to stay together and perform at weddings and festivals. But it'd be a tough year ahead to turn this group into professional teachers or performers. Temi is more pragmatic. I want to be the best at everything. I want to try my hardest to work, just make everything really good. Because I can't just come and for one year and not be able to do anything. And I go back, what did you learn, what did you learn? I'm like, oh, I can throw hats. <laughs> Given the harsh reputation of the school, the young Nigerians seemed completely unprepared for what they had signed up for. When we come back... This is the Great Wall of China. We meet up with the Nigerian acrobats on a rare trip out of school and visit the man in charge of funding their training. Mid-year, we go back to Wu Chao to see how they're holding up. China's decision makers and thought leaders. See them in action, hear their views, debate their policies. Meet China's leaders with me. I'm Robert Lawrence Kim. From emerging powers to expanding partnerships, from fighting poverty to combating climate change, booming economies, war-ravaged nations, and everything in between. We capture the changes affecting the most dynamic and diverse continent on the planet, taking you beyond the headlines to the people and their stories. Asia Today, delivering Asia to the world. Coming from the bustling cities of Abuja and Lagos, these teenagers have had their worlds turned upside down, confined to campus just outside the small Chinese rural town of Wuchao. 
But for the first time in six months, they're on a trip to one of China's famous landmarks. Climbing the Great Wall, Temi was extremely excited. We just came from Wuchao and we have spent like close to five hours on the bus. I'm really tired. This is the Great Wall of China. As exciting as it was to see the Great Wall, Temi says it was the freedom to be in a big city again that she enjoyed the most. <laughs> and I was so happy because when we got back to the hotel, I saw McDonald's. <laughs> Sorry, I have to say that because I haven't eaten McDonald's in like four years. So I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, oh. I wasn't really bothered about how much it was going to be. I just wanted to eat something, like have like a happy meal and a McFlurry, and I did. I was so happy. Yeah, that was like the best. In a northern Beijing suburb not far from the Great Wall sits an educational establishment very far from the strict regime of Wuchao. This college houses the Chinese funders behind the acrobatics project. We are uh, providing a lot of you know, different seminars or workshops for the participants from developed countries. ABO is the international training wing of China's Ministry of Commerce. It aims to provide capacity building for developing countries using the same technology and know-how that has helped lift hundreds of millions of Chinese out of poverty. China is a developing, largest developing country, you know. We want to share our knowledge with other developing countries in the world. We invited about 20,000 participants from 170 countries and the radius. It covers a very wide area. ABO focuses on healthcare, education, environmental protection and agriculture. But it also has a small cultural wing that offers scholarships in a few traditional Chinese crafts. Uh, now in the world, more and more people are talking about Chinese uh, miracle, you know. China, you know, not only uh, powerful for its economy, but also it's very rich for its uh, history and the Asian culture, even acrobatics, you know. Like the teachers in Wuchao, Jin Xu is optimistic about the potential of the student acrobats to become professional teachers and performers. And uh, we in China, we have our saying uh, to teach the friends how to fish him is better uh, than just to give, give him a fish. The African teenagers, they are very good at, you know, very good at acrobatics. They are uh, hard workers. Uh, they uh, learn very fast. And uh, after one year study, they return back to their own country. Uh, they became a very big star. They uh, do the performance in uh, African countries. Also, uh, some of them, uh, they went to uh, West Europe, uh, even the United States. Uh, they uh, got uh, more and more famous now. So we are very, we are very pleased and very glad to do this job. Back in Wuchao, with less than two months to go before the Nigerians complete their training, we went back to check on them. Ni Guan Hua, the school administrator, has seen many groups like this come through and understands their ups and downs during the year. He's confident the year is like no other and the program was on track. Uh but down in the training hall, the mood was not so optimistic. Tired and downbeat, Temi is starting to question why she is here. I've been asking myself, why are they even doing this? In Nigeria, we don't do this. We don't do acrobatics. Okay, I've, not, I've never ever seen. After taking out one year to come here, to study only acrobatics, no nothing, no maths, no English, no, nothing else. And I go back, what am I going to do with this? Like I ask my question, myself that question every day and I'm like, I don't really know. I don't know. Temi is the only Nigerian student who has kept attending Chinese class. But after nearly a year of Chinese lessons, Temi still finds it hard to respond even to basic questions. 
from Imbe. <laughs> the students line up for a rehearsal for the final performance. From here on, they will rehearse repeating the same five-minute sequences again and again, morning and afternoon. With less than two months to go to the final performance, will the Nigerian students finally pull together for their graduation? When we come back... If anyone should see me doing this, they'll be like, wow, oh my god, the day was going to fall, oh my god, I've never seen anyone doing this before. The students put on a show. Hello, I'm Arnon Naidu in Washington, D.C., and this is The Heat. The Heat. Well, joining us now from Baghdad, the international talk show from CCTV America. In-depth debate. We were left with no choice but to activate the, the military. Israel wants to divide and conquer. Strong opinion. I won't answer that ridiculous question. <laughs> Critical stories. It's been described as a war zone. The Ebola virus is spreading at an alarming rate. Major issues. But now they've got a chance to feel part of Scotland, an independent Scotland. Presidents. China's uh, rise in the future is inevitable. Advocates. I think it's a very, very regressive state for women. Newsmakers. The ride itself is immensely physical. And a challenging host. Okay, so let me remind you again that they call Native Americans, not Red Indians. The Heat, the political talk show that covers the world. CCTV America, taking you further. Culture Express, see the world in color. Culture Express. See the world in color. It's the day they have been awaiting for a year the final performance. We find the students back in Anadi's room and ask them if they plan to stick together after they return to Nigeria. How many, how many of you do you think are going to become professional acrobats? Will any of you use your acrobatics to earn money in the future? Yes. I do. Sure. I do. Okay, how are you going to earn money? Definitely, I would want to do that. Many of us have already made up our minds that, okay, yes, we are going to do individual programs. I don't think an acrobatic school is like the major way to do something. Individually, those that are interested will definitely go and do stuff for themselves, like me. There are a lot of things I could do individually. So the group thing is not a barrier for acrobatics for me. One year, we were excited to play from to China. We have spent a full and busy year here. We will never forget the great things Excited to be nearing the end of her year in China, Temi is once again upbeat. So are you excited, Temi? Mm. Yes, I am. I'm getting excited now. She's the only one of eight Nigerians who will perform solo. Uh, maybe along the way, I've had like some, you know, 
thoughts and ugh, like why did I come here? Uh, it's not worth it. But now looking at everything, I think it's really worth it. I think it's amazing. It's an experience. Like you, this kind of opportunity doesn't come every day. Their improvement has been great, that even the strict academic director seems optimistic about their chances. Uh And the students prove the director right. Hmm,要继续从事这个职业。哎，这一年的时间还是不错的。那个才来的时候嘛，有点那个管理有点那个费劲吧。呃，后来习惯一段时间之后，嗯，还是挺挺可以，挺好的。哎，他们还是挺